Oh, whoa, 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 That's like an effect. I, I figured. I wasn't ready, though. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Catonic Gaming. How you doing? Sorry. Josh. I'm Josh. Artie. Daniel. Danielle. Danielle. Uh, we're, we're going to play me. Alien Isolation. Oh, wait, Trademark. Me, me, me. Trademark. Well, I always say we, though. That's It's a whole thing, man. You know how this works. Um... Head tracking. Oh, what's that? Like locking on target? No, if I had the PlayStation camera. <gasps> oh! Play the game with noise detection allows the camera to connect your system to track your noise levels. Still don't have the camera, so it still doesn't matter. Uh, I'll play a medium. Are you a fucking amateur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, make it a slightly above what you can see. Like, find where you can see and make it slightly above so people can see. You know what I mean? What are we trying to find? Just because we got to make sure people can All right. see so, the game. Deal with this game. I've played it before. Not almost, the whole thing, though. Almost beat it. Got soft locked. Fucking rage quit that shit. Why don't you say what soft locked is? Soft lock is basically where, because of a glitch or because you're bad. glitching. <laughs> uh, I wasn't bad. It was a no, glitch. I, I got stuck in a spot that I just couldn't. And you, it was impossible to beat. No, I think I remember. It, I think If I remember correctly, I think I was the same part yeah. that you were. I think I've seen it. Because, so... I didn't see much of this game. I saw very little bits of Josh playing it and him just getting really angry because he couldn't get out of uh, the spots he was stuck in. Um, but obviously, this is Alien Isolation. It's based on the Alien franchise, uh, the movies and such. Um, you know, with the little mini mouths that come out and go, ah! You haven't seen those? Watch yeah, go see the Alien movies. Also, Alien vs. Predator and just Predator in general. Alien vs. Predator gets the again. Watch Alien and Aliens. Alien. Those are yeah. the best, too. And also, uh, Prometheus. Kane. Prometheus takes place in the same universe. Yes. Lambert. Next one's coming out. I'm or they're working on it, at least. I mean, I love this franchise. Oh, yeah. Great. That's why I picked up this game. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, but, yeah. So, we're going to play this because, I mean, Josh never Captain beat it. Dance. And uh, I didn't get to watch the entire game, but I was definitely interested in it. And then uh, it was at school. Yeah. No, I watched you play it. Cargo much. And ship destroyed. Uh, I don't think they had much, though. Flamethrower. What? I should reach the frontier in about okay. six months. Okay, yeah, months. but that was, that was around Halloween because everyone was playing luck. this. This was my uh, Halloween game of the year. Yeah. Like, this is what I played around Halloween. Yeah, no, exactly. So, I like to play horror games around Halloween because I'm me, so. Yeah, also, you play, real quick, uh, I don't know if they just said it, but yeah. if not, they're going to say it in a well, second. Well, they're saying this is Ripley last night, yeah. Just you don't it. play as Ripley in this game. No. No. You play as her daughter. Yes. So, they're about to say that if they haven't already, so. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler, you're Ripley's daughter the whole time. Bruce Wallace was dead the whole time. He dies. Uh, but yeah, beautiful game too. Ripley. I mean, look at that. It's fucking beautiful. I mean, I know it's a cutscene, but still. I work for the I'm pretty sure the cutscenes for this are made in engine, aren't they? No, but the no? game has cool mother. visuals. Yeah. I really, they do a very good job because, like, the original Alien came out in the '80s, I believe. Do a very good job with that kind yeah. of '80s sci-fi to it. Vessel. Yeah. No, I understand what you're getting it. I gotta we do believe a thing. to be the flight I'm gonna ask uh, What are we doing for this one? 15, Where? 20. 15. 15? But the Zeta first attention. episode, you should do 20. Yeah. So I had a feeling. What did it tell you? Just because this has a little more story to it, so. There's gonna be a lot more cutscenes. Yeah. The game's gonna be a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it, it's something I just. I never played it myself, but I, you know, I kind of wanted to, I just didn't. As soon as I started seeing when they first released trailers and stuff for it, I was like, ooh, yeah. Well, the, the alien game that came out before this. Like Hungry. Colonial Marines or whatever, it was fucking shit. Mm. It was like an alien. I never even heard of that one. It was like an alien war game. Like the you're just kind of trying to shoot the aliens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm picking up what you're like, down. And that just isn't what this franchise is based on. It's no, what the franchise became. Yeah, the, the franchise who really like the alien movies. Don't like the battle aspects of the alien no. movies they like the horror aspects because they began as horror movies yeah exactly this is it's supposed this to be more of a survival this is a horror history. game really this game would you consider it horror i'd consider absolutely. it more survival i'd consider it one of the best horror games on this console really yeah yeah i don't know for some reason i don't i don't consider aliens part of the horror genre i consider them maybe thriller and a lot of like, people do that and sci-fi very sci-fi yeah but the original alien and Aliens. I mean, yes, I guess it, both also very at, the, horror at the time Maybe. it was They're still very horrible. But I don't know. I just don't see they just that's just not what they are anymore. Look at the sweat on her and everything. That's so cool. The little particles in the air. You can see every pore. Yeah, she's got pores. You've got pores. What? 
Yeah. Daniel, what do you think? What do you think, Daniel? You, you know a lot about quiet. horror movies. You yeah. do horror movies. Um, what do you think of Alien? It is definitely a horror movie. Yeah. I don't know. I just Like I said, I've just never associated Aliens as being a horror uh, creature. Is this and it's a horror movie because of the contents in it, but the way it doesn't carry itself like traditional horror movies. No. Like, there's oh no, my, like, creepy you? house you walk in. There's no... Like, the setting of a Aliens is a lot more, uh... It becomes horror-esque. In case I need to turn it up. Ah, yeah. This game, you might hear a little bit of the TV in this, only because this game actually uses sound a lot. There are sound cues that he has to, uh, like, pay attention for. Um... I don't think I have a headphone jack for my TV. I actually have one for my PlayStation, but I don't know. Well, oh. we can figure that out later. Oh, if it would record or not, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's something we can look into. Because I can plug it right into the yeah, exactly. controller. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's something we can we can look into. But for now, this is what you're getting. And, I mean, we're pretty good at syncing now anyway, so I'm yeah. pretty sure. Pretty uh, sure. I got really good at doing it from here anyway, so. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they'll, they It'll should line up pretty well. It'll be Ooh, fun. sorry, I didn't mean to Push hit the mic. Pants. Nah. Do you have to? Is that, is that actually mandatory? Uh, that's mission. Boo! I wanted to walk around naked. Or at least in her panties. Panties. Nice kicks. Nice tennis shoes. But like, this is what I'm talking about with how it's got this very 80s kind of look to it. Yeah. No, I, I really just visually, this is very fun to look at. It's so clean looking. Like, you can tell it was definitely a labor of love. Gotta keep fucking hitting the mic. Stop hitting the mic. Use registration points to I'm gonna turn that up oh, yeah, yeah. and that down. Do there we go. Problem solved. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you're the only one on the ship right now. Uh, I'm uh, the only one who. I just woke up. You just woke up. Were you in stasis? Yes. Okay. All right. Because you gotta remember, like I said, uh, I'm not. I'm not playing the fool here. I really don't know what's going on. Like I said, I saw very little of this game when Josh was playing it. I only saw a couple of parts, and most of it was just, like, him actually playing it. It didn't really have anything to do as yeah. far as story was concerned or anything. Yeah, I walked down into gameplay, too. Yeah, so I don't know anything about the story. I saw an alien, and I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Yeah, one exactly. Watch. Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened to me. Spoiler alert, there's aliens in this. There's in, one. An alien. Just yeah, aliens. fair enough. There's other enemies, don't get me wrong, but there's one alien. One singular alien. Oh. She doesn't have any babes or anything in the game? Samuels, did you wake up early? Not that you know of yet. Well, Could be at the end. So, uh, there's flashback stuff. Ah, uh, gotcha. Is that, is that, is that the explanation point? It's, yeah, that's fucking, All right. cool. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Cool, well, I can, I can I'm not wait. Gonna, I'm not gonna go any more detail No, of course. If some it's, of the coolest shit in this fucking Yeah, if game. it's gonna happen, let it happen. Don't, yeah. Don't mess with I've it at all. I've engineering jobs on ships like this. Yeah, no, it, it looks really good, though. It it's really is very visually appealing to my eyeballs. You didn't, you didn't like Alien vs. Predator movies, did you? Haven't seen it. Because they, they weren't well, alien movies to me. They were like shitty action movies. You know what I mean? Alien vs. Predator. 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 I don't think was ever a horror movie. Predator no. was always an a an action movie. Here's the thing. Alien vs. Predator is. I look at Alien vs. Predator the same way that I look at like uh, Freddy vs. Jason. It's not canon. It's just fun. Freddy vs. Jason is canon. And I don't, I, I mean, it kind of is, but not really. It doesn't change anything. You know what I mean? No, well. Even if it happened, they never reference each other in any other movies later on. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Taylor, that, that's what I mean by it. Like, it's what happened in that movie had no effect on the universe, is what I'm saying. And I feel like that's the way Alien vs. Predator was. It was just a fun little thing to do. It was like, it was like if they made a Marvel vs. Capcom movie. It would just be a fun thing. But they, uh, the Alien vs. Predator movies are action movies because the Predator franchise is all action and there's no really way you can translate the Xenomorph into that world better than you can translate the Predator into our world and or into the alien world you know yeah I mean? no I understand I understand exactly what you mean the alien is easier to put into Predator than Predator is to put into alien right yeah no that makes total sense I totally so, get that like they they kind of did it like that I, I didn't like them because I really do like alien as a horror franchise I think it's cool but uh, unfortunately, in most recent years, they, they kind of took that aspect out of it. Even Prometheus. I like Prometheus a lot more of a thriller than a horror. Yeah. I got to read up on uh, the Predator movies at school, actually, for my communications uh, class. Yeah. And actually, uh, when they first made the Predator movies, the outcome they had was completely different than the vision they had. They really wanted to paint the Predator to be a hero. 
Interesting. So they really wanted him. It wanted they wanted the stereotypical alien. Everyone assumes it's bad. Yeah, automatically if something comes from space, you're like, oh shit, we're fucked. And but it was actually they did, yeah, interesting. They didn't achieve that, and honestly, it made more views that way. So like, well, we have to run with this, but we still want this idea. And that's well, that's how alien. No, yeah, I understand what you mean. Got hatched. Yeah, because that's the thing is sometimes you'll have something happen, and, okay, and like you're just like, well, journey? if it works oh, better this way. And it's not our original vision, but it works better. We should probably go with right. this. They ran with it, but they still wanted to push that. Yeah. Which is why Alien vs. Predator hatched. Because they're like, well, we need the Predator. So what's happening is, real quick for you guys. Yes, I remember. We're going to a space station. <laughs> to ba The reason I'm going to the space station is because apparently my mother, Ripley, who's the character from Believe the first movie. Believe it or not. Movie, <laughs> is on that station. So we're going to that station, uh, and it's all fucked up. It's all okay. we know. We have no. We can't communicate with them. We're, okay. We've been trying to. We can't. Gotcha. You can watch the approach. Fair enough. I thought you said collect your brains. Collect your briefs. Don't leave your underwear behind. You never know when you need a clean pair. <sighs> the soundtrack's great. Nice. Very old school. I like it. It's the soundtrack for the, the movie. Yeah. Can we see it. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol oh, Station. That old school TV. I don't know. Is that damage? Looks There's something about it, like, just the old school. Like, I used to have, um, angle. back when I was really young, uh, and I would play, like, screen. Mario on the NES and the stuff like that. Back. Um, we, it was on like an old tube TV, like one of the big block ones with the wood around them and everything like that, and oh, it was so good, it just fits so well. Some games are actually better on that. No, and, and that's why there's other, there's, um, other people are the same way, like, um, I'm familiar with some other, like, channels and stuff like that, and people who, like, do that kind of stuff where if they're playing an older game, they actually play it on, like, a mostly period TV because of the fact that it does alter the effect when you play like if you play um, an NES on like like the TV we have like an HD you know smart TV Vizio it'll stretch it, it won't look as good it won't look right it'll stretch it'll do weird things yeah exactly. uh, the other thing is that like you have things like the light gun which don't work the on this TV because the light gun so our works by bouncing booster. light off of the, the glass of the TV and back into the yeah, controller. Mm -hmm. So like you shoot it at this TV and there's no light to bounce back. Yeah. But I mean, it, it is something that I think like if the opportunity arose, I, that would be something I would like to do. I used to actually have like a couple of different TVs depending on the game we were playing because like it, it is true that playing it on sometimes it just puts you in the right state of mind too when you play it on like a period correct tv God, so nice i'd watch an entire movie of this you too samuels affirmative you're about though <laughs> they should really make alien movies i don't know why they don't they don't sell because alien 3 sucked dick and after that no one gave a fuck about the franchise what was the one with uh at one point, like, the alien attacks, like, some girl in, like, a fucking public pool or something like that. Which one is that? I don't remember. That's the last one I saw. Is this it? That's the last one I saw. Shit. Oh, man, watch this shit. This is some fucking gravity bullshit. I never saw gravity. From the, from the bits of trailer I saw, I just wasn't that interested. Wasn't yet. Yeah, it, well. <laughs> it was like stuck in space, the movie, now I'm good. Was, uh... It was more of a psychological horror. Did you ever... Is, it, is Alien, was that the tagline, um, when you're in space, no one no can hear you scream? scream? Yeah. Was it the tagline? I believe that was a tagline for Alien. <laughs> I yeah, mean that's original. that that's a very I always remember James, overused term now, but it very well could be. I'm gonna and now find out and, and remember James Cameron directed Aliens, the second one, the sequel, and it was incredible. That second one was good. Yeah, this is the same guy who directed fucking Titanic. So, like it or not, Titanic is a staple in culture. This is the tagline for the film Alien, which was directed by Ridley Scott, not James Cameron, as currently stated on this site. Cameron directed the sequel, Aliens. Wow, I feel like I just fucking said that. I was just confirming it. And I like Ridley Scott a lot, too. Good, uh, 1979 good is when the first Alien movie came out. 79, wow. huh? Wow. Mm -hmm. Way cool. older than us. Yeah. Yeah, but like... Makes you really appreciate those movies now. <laughs> yeah, they stand. Because they practical effects, dude, I tell you, practical effects are what make a movie look. Oh, absolutely. And well, that's why, and we were just talking, I was talking to Josh about it the other day, um, 
like we were talking about Suicide Squad uh, specifically because that's coming out soon and it's a you know hot topic currently, obviously. Uh, and we were talking about how they just released information. They sell stuff at FIA too. Shut the fuck up. Um, they just released information saying about how they um, originally they had intentions to put King Shark um, part of Suicide Squad, which in the comics he has been quite some time. But they realized that they didn't want to do a character that was completely CG because they didn't want to take away from the feel of, oh, of so the movie. Cool. So that's why they decided to go with Killer Croc as a post because okay, he's the, all pra uh, practical the makeup. Precipitation on the oh, uh, is really cool. on a mask. Yeah, dude. This, I, I like this. This is nice to look at. This is visually appealing to my artist eyes. Ooh, Find yeah. help the game. <laughs> Find help the game. <laughs> she just goes, lays down on a couch, starts talking to her psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, God. No, that's Josh the game. <laughs> You're funny. Accurate, but funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The lighting effects are really, really nice in this oh, as well. Pretty. Like, just the reflectiveness of, like, the steel and everything like that. Is it too soft? Uh, I know I don't have anything to worry about yet, but I'm just making sure it's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's how you save. You go to a phone and you plug in the little... Which actually is a lot of the the complexity of this game is that there isn't quick saves. It's all manual saves. Yeah, you have to actually find locations to save at. Which I... It stress, it's stressful. Of course it is. Especially, I mean, if you're like, you know, there's only like one save with in whatever area you're in and fucking there's an alien right in front of it. Uh, what do you do? It's like, uh... <sighs> Like maybe get him to loop around if you can. Like you know, you gotta you gotta be you gotta work out oh, so cool. interesting mechanics sometimes to get to certain locations in this game. Because I've seen you try to save in like weird places before and have to do things like that. Right. The uh the like in the little bits that I did see you play. Oh, I was saying earlier the difference between the alien movies and other horror movies is it doesn't bring you immediately into the stress of a horror film. I mean, like I said, I don't know. For for me, like I said, I mean, this is clearly just my personal opinion, but I don't feel the same way I do when I watch horror. Can you, is it because as you can't I, relate to it? No, it's not. I don't even know if it's necessarily that. It's just, I mean, maybe it could be that. Because like just, that, I feel, is a lot of the contention there. Most horror is scary because you can relate to because it. Because it's based on things that could actually happen to you for the and most like, part. And like, the alien is so far out there. Yeah, even though, I mean, it's not that hard to believe that there's alien life out there, but it's just, I don't know. It, for some reason, like I said, just for me, it doesn't, I don't feel the same way. I feel, when I watch the alien movies, I feel as I do when I watch thrillers. That's why I automatically say, in my mind, that it's a thriller. You get what I'm saying? Like, when I watch them, I don't think horror. I don't think, you know, when I think horror, I think, like, you know, fucking, you know, Freddy Krueger and fucking, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, you know... Friday the 13th, shit like that. Yeah, but are those scary to anyone? Well, at the time, yes. They were, they, they haven't aged well. Um, um it depends on the They're still one. entertaining. Yeah. The, I absolutely still find them entertaining, but they didn't really age that well. That's they're I'm a little cheesy they're now. That's why I'm glad they're making remakes. What's that? So that's why I'm glad they're making No, remakes. exactly. Well, yeah, oh yeah, especially with all like the Universal Monsters that they're all redoing. Yeah. Yeah, so even that's that's even really cool too. It's like, things like that. It's like, I consider those to be horror, but... Always know, always working. Someone, someone new. new. Um... But, uh, when the, back when they made a lot of horror movies, a lot of original horror movies like Jason and Freddy, yeah. they were actually appealing to kids, because at the time, that's the audience that would go see it, were younger kids, and now our standards have changed. So you like sure Freddy, about that? Nightmares? Are you sure about that? They were appealing to a young teenage audience. Yes. Yeah, the kind of audience that would take their girlfriends. Yes. yes. To oh yeah. Okay, that. yeah. Because when you that's were saying young, I was, th I was, yeah. Okay, that's because I don't think that like kid kids. That's they, why, like, I was thinking like, like fucking like Nick Jr. No. They directed <laughs> like, it at no. like a uh, teenager audience, so that like they take their to like they take their girlfriends to the movies. They get all scared and be like, ah! Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Those, that's those movies were right. for. And, and for they them, protect it's, me, Daniel. For them, it's bringing them back to nostalgia of uh, nightmares because they're just like that's an age common age for them to just start well, getting I mean, over them. And that's, and that's, that's also part of the reason the plot of those movies I was gonna is say, very teenager centric. Well, I was going to say also the fact that you got to look at it this way. I movies, forget what collecting stuff in this game does, by the way. I'm movies like that it. worked so well because I mean, like some of the other ones, I mean, like they're, you know, like obviously like Friday the 13th. 
Like, oh yeah, a fucking guy comes so out of lakes and shit and like whatever, you, you didn't die and he fucking hunt you down, whatever. It's like, I love those movies, but I, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street always stood out to me the most because of the fact that fucking, when you're sleeping, you are so vulnerable. And that's why that one always was like, it's the most powerful one to me. is because you are so vulnerable when you sleep that you can f- relate. You're like, holy shit. This could actually happen to me. Maybe not like somebody coming out of my bed like a fucking spooky phantom, but like motherfucker could come into my bedroom while I'm sleeping and kill me and I wouldn't even know. Well, the reason that I think those movies appeal so much to me, I really like, out of like the slasher films, I really like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Halloween because Texas Chainsaw Massacre... Texas Chainsaw Massacre was the original slasher film. Halloween was the first horror movie I ever watched, but after those is uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Because... Freddy has a personality. Yes. Yeah. And that's something that other horror movies don't have. Their killers don't have personalities. Uh, and it, it, like, is something entirely different. Yeah. No, I understand what you and mean. And Freddy's funny. Yeah. I love Freddy. Yeah. And there's something psychological about I can't sleep. And then, like, you start going on and you literally feel more tired with the character. Yeah. I... Exactly. I think that's what it... Like, for me, I feel like part of... It's like I don't know. When I think of thrillers, I think a lot of a lot of a thriller should um, mess with you psychologically. Yes. I feel like thrillers rely highly on psychological like distress, and I feel like that's why I think of Alien as that because I know if I was in this situation, I'd be stressed the fuck out. Actually, I think thrillers more are on instinct, so like jump scares and crap like that. Uh, yeah. You see, you don't have to be scary to be scared. That's well, the there's thing. a difference between scary and startled. Startled, exactly. startled. Like I went and saw The Conjuring two the other day. I yeah. watched uh, first. Jump off, scares. Jump sca- scares. Jump scares. Donald you. Jump scares startle Jump you. Jump scares startle you. Fucking something coming at you with big sharp teeth and claws. That's terrifying. Well, and how I look at it is if you walk... Like, I, I walked out of that theater and I was like, Oh, I really like these cool visuals. really like this and that. Yeah. But, like, I went to bed la- that night and it was like, Okay, cool. Like, it wasn't... It was f- a movie. Yeah. But, like... It didn't affect you. It didn't affect me. Like... A scary movie is a movie Holy that, like, I go to bed, like, an actual scary movie is a movie that I go to bed and I go, what the fuck? Like, yeah. how am I gonna sleep? I have these visuals in my yeah, head. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, Dad's reaction to the first paranormal activity. Like, Dad's reaction to the first paranormal activity. He came home at, like, midnight and was, like, scared. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to sleep. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I can't sleep. <laughs> like, I have similar reactions to some movies all the time. Like, yeah. just movies that stick with me. Uh, it's... Well, and that's, like, how uh, Casey is with right The Grudge. Now. Yes. She can't even she can't even see any she can't even see the character without fucking it just destroying her mentally. Yeah. For like the rest of the day, That's like what it's I was just. To do. I don't know what her deal is with the grudge because she's watched scarier crap. And it's not. It's not. It's not about being scary. It's just. It's the, the visual. Yeah. Stuck it's just, with her. That's, Fuck you. Yeah. It's just stuck with her. That's I'm the like thing. Half it's like. Fuck. It's not. It's not necessarily anything in particular. It's just sometimes. It's just something about the way it's presented. Yeah. For, from what I've heard, the, the pro, what, from what she's explained to me, the problem she has with it is, like, the whole, like, the backward shit down the stairs and, yeah. like, the... The almost human inhuma- inhumanity of it. Right? Yeah. I totally can get... I totally get And then, like, the sound just completely destroys it, you. I know. It's, it's fun to it. fuck with her. I, but, uh, you can't. You're not allowed I to. I don't want to. You're not allowed to. I don't want to cause her distress. I do. I do. Alright. <laughs> we'll uh, 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 figure out where the fuck I'm going all right, next so, time. Oh, look at that. Oh, God, that's so pretty. It's like a Star Wars game in this fucking engine. Mmm. Alright, right, we'll, so uh, what are you going to do next time? Go up the staircase. We're going to go up that staircase? What's up there? Oh. Cool. Good talk, Josh. Space flight terminal. Okay. Probably. I don't know whatever that says. Seva. See you next time, guys. Sevestipal. Sevestipal. Strangers will be hot. Shot. Hot. There's an S there. I know. Bye. Love you.